he's got an AR-15. He's got a rifle. He's got a rifle. Shots fired! Shots fired! Welcome to CSL TV. And I just hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is just a review, a reaction, and informational channel. Hopefully, the informational part helped you and someone out. And we're just going to watch some videos and talk about them. Now, if you're new to the channel, if you're not new to the channel, I just want to say thank you for rocking with me. Um, I don't want to make this intro too long, so let's get it. Officer down! Officer down! Officer down! This video out of Wisconsin is terrifying, and fair warning, this footage is disturbing. It all went down on the northwest side of the state when police officers went to pull over an SUV driver. Police had previously been warned that the driver was possibly armed and dangerous, and as one officer approaches the vehicle, a second officer from behind spots that he's got an AR-15. He's got a rifle. He's got a rifle. Shot fired! Shot fired! After the driver opens fire, the officer from behind responds with his service weapon and remarks that his colleague has been shot. Officer down! Officer down! Officer down! The officer from behind continues to engage until the driver strikes him with a bullet, sending him down. From the officer's body cam, you can see the driver approach with a rifle from down on the ground. Backup soon makes its way to the scene where the driver has posted up with his weapon. Both officers are down. He's set up with a rifle. One officer tells people who have gathered around the scene to get lost. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go. And backup moves in to secure the situation. Okay. We're approaching. Yeah, we see it. All right, it's on his left. As officers move in, one notes that the driver appears to be wounded. I believe the subject is down. I believe the subject is down. There's three subjects down. Officers disarm the driver who is down near his vehicle. Yep. I got lethal. I got you got that? Yep. And it turns out he had been shot in the leg. Yes. We got two officers down. We got 195. He's the bad guy's also shot. The 50-year-old driver ended up dying from his injury, as did the first two officers a 32-year-old policewoman and a 23-year-old policeman who had pulled the driver over. The driver was wanted for unpaid child support, and his ex-wife described him as possibly schizophrenic and slept with a gun under his pillow. Investigators were told by the driver's son that he talked badly about cops and more or less trained to kill them. Previous mental health issues prohibited the driver from possessing firearms, but that order expired in 2011 and he was able to legally obtain several weapons, including the AR-15 used in the attack on police. Thousands gathered to honor the slain officers in a local police procession that spanned 12 miles. It's believed that tens of millions of variations of the AR-15, nicknamed America's Rifle, are in circulation across the United States. Assault weapons like these were banned for 10 years between 1994 and 2004, but Republicans allowed that ban to expire, and the gun has only grown in popularity since then. Man, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to those officers. Man, that's crazy. I still don't know what to say. Like, usually I have something to say. I don't even know what to say. These guys, is that, well, that guy, this crazy mental patient, you know what I'm saying? He is exactly where he needs to be at for the simple fact. Ain't no way you should be out here trying to hurt people and be demonic shooting at the law at that. Like, come on, that is something you don't do. I will say something about that. Man, as far as those officers, I just hope they family get through it because I know what it feels like to lose someone. Definitely, you know, it's a lot of people that love them. Eight. This viral TikTok video is crazy. This is David Barton, a 45-year-old TikToker whose videos have racked up more than 2.1 million likes. A week ago, another TikToker posted this video of people gathered around to mourn David at his funeral. David's own daughter posted on social media, rest in peace, daddy, why is life so unfair? But as the video continues, this helicopter lands in a field and out walks David. Confused loved ones rush over to greet the man they thought was dead and a camera crew captures the whole emotional experience. It turns out this was an elaborate stunt that David arranged because family members had lost contact with him and he told reporters that he wanted to teach them a life lesson. 
The response to the stun on TikTok was mixed, with some commenters upset over the deception and others who expressed understanding as to why he did this. David notes that only half of his family came to the funeral, which proves who really cares about me. Happy Father's Day. Now I can see how this prank will have some people being like, oh, that's messed up. How did you fake your death? But like he said, nobody thought about him. Nobody was even thinking about him. He's all about family and love. And he did something to bring people together to see if they really cared and was going to show that love. And that's what this whole thing was about. It was just a, show, a social experiment. And evidently it worked because it, it brought everybody out that cared about him. After receiving a call for a disturbance at an apartment block, an officer almost shot a man after he answered the door with a gun in his hand. Shots fired off himself. Shots fired off himself. On September 16th of 2022, two officers were dispatched to an apartment on the 27700 block of Aspel Road in Menifee, California, after a concerned neighbor heard yelling from inside another apartment at around 10 p.m. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Um, it's an apartment complex, and I don't know what's going on, but he's banging all over, talking about can open the door. He is just really it's disturbing loud and it does not sound like something. Shortly after the concerned phone call, two police officers, Flores and Shai, arrived wearing the Menifee City Police uniform. After knocking on the door, the pair were met with silence. At first, the officers seemed unsure that they were at the right apartment, with one of them gesturing to try the next door for a response instead. Here. Soon after, however, the door slowly opened, and the two experienced officers were met with a situation that neither of them expected. Uh, hey, dude, put that, put that back. As the man, who was later identified as 19-year-old Robert Ares, opened the door, one of the officers took no chances when he spotted Robert holding a semi-automatic gun close to his body. After the suspect tried hiding the handgun behind his leg, the officer quickly fired at the armed man with his duty handgun. In the body cam footage shared online, Officer Shai could be seen sprinting down the corridor for cover, while Officer Flores moved behind a set of stairs, still aiming his weapon at the door. Luckily for Robert, the shot missed. The terrified man then dropped his gun and hid inside his apartment before surrendering to the authorities. Hey, come out, hands up, man. Right, Let's see your head. Come out. Come out, hands up. Hey, dude, turn around. Turn, turn around. around. Come down here. Down on your knees. Down on your knees. Down. Put your hands on your head. After the arrest, the police found a loaded 9mm polymer 80 handgun resting on the hallway floor. After looking into the firearm, they discovered that it was unregistered and unserialized. It was clear that Robert wasn't bluffing when he flashed the weapon at the officers, as one round was already in the chamber with five others loaded in the magazine. Unbelievably, after Robert was taken into custody, he admitted that he knew that there were police officers at the door, but still decided to answer with the weapon in his hand. It's unknown whether Robert initially intended to shoot at the officers or simply wanted to intimidate. Them. But it is clear that he realized he was way in over his head. Are you hit? No. I'm scared, bro. Put your other hand behind your back. Is there anybody else now? No. Robert was arrested for the illegal possession of a loaded firearm, receiving stolen property and child endangerment, and was booked into the Bird Detention Center. After being kept in police custody over the weekend, he was released on a $35,000 bond. Officer Flores, who instinctively opened fire, was placed on paid administrative leave while the incident was being investigated. While Robert Arrez was still awaits the outcome of his charges, the young man was lucky that Officer Flores missed his target that night, or else this incident would have ended up far worse for him. Well, I won't. I know he won't be doing no shit like that again. Answering the door with a gun, and yeah, you know, it was a disturbance at that apart at that apartment complex. But at the same time, nobody should ever answer the door like this. This could have went so bad. He could have got lost his life. You know, police officers already trained to react a certain way, and seeing that you had the gun the way you did, come on, man.